Hello and welcome to Miss Shauna's Bunny Bags Easter Stories. All this um, past four days, we have been taking out a an egg, a numbered egg, and opening it up to find out what's inside, and then having a story that goes with it and finding out the significance that each object in the st in the egg represents. Now, the first day we read about um, Jesus entering Jerusalem and the people waving palm branches. And saying Hosanna. On day two, we opened our egg number, or pink egg, and we took out a silver coin. And this was significant because G Judas um, betrayed Jesus and sold him to the soldiers for 30 pieces of silver. Day three, we had the cross made of nails because Jesus was nailed and died on the cross for each one of our sins. And day number four, the orange egg, was the linen cloth that Jesus' body was wrapped in and the stone that was placed in front of the tomb that was guarded by the soldiers. Now day five, typically we open the egg first and then read our story, but today we're going to do the opposite because there is something extra special about this egg, as you're going to find out in the story and see if you can guess what might be inside of this egg. So let's hear our story for today. This is the one of the best stories, or the best story ever told, so I'm excited to tell you. After Jesus died, some of his friends laid his body in a big tomb. They sealed it shut with a large round stone. Soldiers guarded the tomb. Three days later, the earth shook. An angel of the Lord came down from heaven and pushed the stone away from the tomb. Then the angel sat on the stone. When the soldiers saw the angel, they fell to the ground. Mary was walking to the tomb with some of her friends. They saw the angel who said, Do not be afraid. Jesus is not here. He has risen. Go and tell Peter and the other disciples that Jesus is alive. Let's clap and shout and say, Hooray, jo Jesus is alive. He is not dead. He is alive. On their way, the women saw Jesus. They fell to their knees and they worshipped him. Jesus smiled and said, Go and tell the others that I will see them in Galilee. So Mary ran to tell the disciples. I told you it was going to be a great story, an exciting story, and the sadness did not end. So let's open our egg and find out what is inside. It's empty. Why would it be empty? Can you think why? Because what was empty when, the, when Mary and her friends came to the tomb? The grave, the tomb was empty because Jesus wasn't in it anymore. He is alive. He's not dead. He's alive and he lives today. If you look on your, and he wants to be your forever friend. If you look on your bunny bag paper, um, there's some scripture on there. If you feel Jesus and his Holy Spirit prompting you that you want to make a decision to have Jesus be for your forever friend and Lord and Savior of your life, then let's look at some scripture here to tell us how ABCs of salvation. A, admit that you have sinned. Romans 3.23 says, All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. B, believe in Jesus. John 3.16 says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son 
but whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. C. Confess that Jesus is Lord and choose to allow God to be in charge of your life. Romans 10.9 says, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. This is the good news, the good news that Jesus loves you, and it is news that you don't want to keep to yourself. You want to tell other people.